Dale Earnhardt Jr. is leaving NBC and he's joining Amazon Prime and Warner Discovery in 2025. The raising news just won't stop. Dale Earnhardt Jr., the most popular personality, the most popular driver, even though he's retired, in NASCAR is on the move for 2025. Broadcasting silly season started earlier than regular driver silly season at this point. Dale Earnhardt Jr. will be moving over to Amazon Prime and Warner Discovery, which will be NASCAR on TNT, or you can stream it on HBO Max with the added on sports package if you want to pay $26 a month or whatever it comes out to be. Regardless, Dale Earnhardt Jr. is moving over to those two partners in 2025. NASCAR's two newest media partners landed the biggest personality in the entire sport. For Dale, it makes a ton of sense. But for NBC, they absolutely dropped the ball. They crashed the car, whatever you want to refer to it as. They tried to save a few bucks like they were Dave Ramsey, and unfortunately, their product is worse off because of that now. For Dale, like I said, it's the most logical move he could have made. He's likely getting paid more money now to work less races. So he'll work 10 races instead of the 14 that NBC will have in 2025, and he likely gets paid more. He'll also get to call at least two marquee events on the schedule. He gets the Coke 600 on the Amazon side, and then he likely gets the Chicago Street Race or whatever NASCAR decides to put on the 4th of July weekend to make another marquee event there. So for Dale, it's kind of a win-win. Plus, they're probably going to build the booth around him. He's going to get a lot of say, and... He ultimately will be the guy that they listen to when they come in to start their journey broadcasting NASCAR. You knew Amazon Prime was going to make a splash, right? On their Thursday night football coverage, they went out and got Al Michaels and Kirk Herbstreit, two very big names within the football space. And you can argue that one of them might be a geriatric at this point, and the other one might not know that much about professional football, but they're still big names. They still call a pretty decent game. Going out and getting Dale Jr. is exactly the splash that they needed to make, and they did it. They went out and probably opened with a checkbook and were like, yeah, how much do you want? Some people on the internet joke that Bezos had to give him a charter as well as, you know, a, a job essentially for 10 races, which, you know, if Dale can manage to do that, uh, that would be great for the sport. But charters are expensive, and uh, Dale's not getting one. Regardless, for NBC, this is really unfortunate for them. Dale brought a great balance to the booth. I know there are some people that think that the NBC booth calls races like a bunch of hillbillies and they sound like a bunch of, you know, country bums, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there are times where you're like, maybe you guys could just dial back the accents a little bit, make it sound a little bit more professional. But for Dale, he brought the expertise of driving the car. He called a race a lot like how you and your buddies just want to hang out. Obviously, he has that famous slide job, slide job. Um you know, call from Chicagoland back with Kyle Larson and Kyle Busch, he brought some great moments. He brought a lot of great insight, and he was constantly pointing the director into areas of the track that they need to focus on, which the broadcast desperately needs. Like I said, he did bring a good balance, though, because you have Jeff Burton, who's more annoying than Holden Caulfield out there. Rick Allen's constantly yelling at us, and I still have yet to figure out why he's yelling so much. And Steve Letarte just exists. And sometimes he gets his strategy right, and sometimes he doesn't. He's a bit like a weatherman at this point. It's kind of hit or miss. Regardless, Dale was great. And that's what made the NBC portion of the schedule so enjoyable. They also got, you know, access to his Dirty Mo Media stuff as well. And now that's off of all of the NBC properties and it's on to YouTube now. I'm going to guess he probably makes more money doing it that way than versus the traditional uh, way of doing it when it was on Peacock and being shown on USA or whatever other random channel it would be on. Either way. The sport is actually worse off because of this. I mean, let me explain that real quick. NBC, of course, has the second half of the year. They have the playoffs. They have the championship race. NASCAR tries to build up the championship race and make it the spectacle, which eh, you can argue if it is or isn't. Either way, you want your biggest name, your biggest personality in the broadcasting booth, in the sport in general, to be calling that race. And now he's not. Dale Earnhardt Jr. season is going to essentially end with 14 races to go. And NBC is going to have to rely on Burton, Latart, and Rick Allen to make that championship race call. That is, if they don't add a fourth person back to the booth, which I don't think that they will. I mean, who else are you going to go out there and get? Carl Edwards would be cool, but I don't think Carl wants to travel 14 weeks out of the year. He didn't want to travel to do much, so I don't blame him. But for the most part, you want your biggest name there, and now he's not going to be, which is unfortunate for the fans, right? Because Dale brought a level of excitement. Sure, he's still going to talk about it on his podcast. He's still going to promote the sport and everything that goes along with it. But having him be at the track for the championship race on the call, there's something to be said about that. So he's not going to do that. But 
The man's likely getting paid again, as if he needed more money. But hey, hats off to him because he deserves it. He's the like I said, he's the most popular voice in the sport right now. Probably will be forever. And NBC, let it go. They dropped the ball. They said that they you know wish him the best of luck and. You kind of had a feeling that's the direction this was going to go. Like he didn't have a contract. Uh, having a one-year deal maybe uh, in 2024 didn't make a lot of sense. And The Athletic broke this news, and they mentioned that he doesn't have anything lined up for 2024, but he could, of course, do some sort of you know, one-year deal with either Fox or NBC. It just seems highly unlikely at this point that that will happen. So he's going to get to take a year off, spend some time with the kids, you know, do dad things or whatever it is that Dale Earnhardt Jr. does. And then he can come back in 2025, not until, you know, the mid portion of the season after the first 14 races, he'll get out there, call these races, and then, you know, go back home and hang out for the rest of them. Hats off to him, but it is definitely one of the biggest announcements that we've seen coming. We'll have to just wait for Dale to like officially talk about it or for Amazon slash Warner Discovery to like put out their graphic welcoming Dale Jr. to the team you know the type I'm talking about so let me know in the comments what you think about this move like and subscribe to the uh channel I'm gonna say podcast like and subscribe to the channel follow me on TikTok at break hard Instagram and Twitter at break hard blog